The man has checked a major item off of his bucket list. He recently walked 500 miles as part of a spiritual pilgrimage. WCBI's Ali Martin has more. As Max Holman prepares for a teaching job in Madison, he'll be taking a few items for his classroom. This framed map shows the path he took on the Camino de Santiago. The walk literally to English is translated as the way of St. James. Uh, so. The point of the entire walk is to reach where the body of St. James is believed to be resting uh, underneath this big cathedral in Santiago de Compostela, Spain. Holman began the 500-mile walk June 1st in France and completed the pilgrimage June 30th. Along the way, the 24-year-old stayed in hostels, saw reminders of Tupelo's most famous son, and made a lot of friends. There's thousands upon thousands of people who make this pilgrimage from all parts of the world at all different stages of life. So you're bound to run into a lot of people. For much of the walk, Max was alone. And although he excelled at track in high school, the Camino de Santiago was much tougher than he expected. The first week or so was very rough because physically I hadn't done anything like that. Walking is half a marathon is one thing, but then when you put you know, 15, 20 pounds of crap on your back yeah. uh, and start walking like a turtle, uh, it, it changes things. So when you're packing your bag, you're really thinking about, okay, do I absolutely need this or do I not need this? Max learned the importance of packing light, taking only a few changes of clothes, food, water, and a guidebook. He says he discovered some valuable life lessons along the way. Even the best prepared uh, plans can go to crap and to really focus on what's important in life because I back home before doing this I might get really annoyed and really mad that I lost something and I had to be like okay as long as I have these most important things to me with me the other stuff is it's just it's trivial. Holman is Catholic and he says the walk also strengthened his faith. He'll be teaching high school Spanish at St. Joseph Catholic School and he'd like to organize a pilgrimage for his students. I think it's a great thing, regardless of what religion, what ethnicity you come from. It's just, it's a, it's a great time just to really think about things that are, that are going on in your life. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News. Holman began researching and preparing for his walk back in December.